Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Andrew and welcome to my how to series. Here I have a dirty and non-working motherboard. In this video, I'm going to show you how some things can be fixed and how to wash a PC motherboard, but without using any professional tools. From the outside, the motherboard is covered with dirt and smoke from cigars or cigarettes. And the smoke has made a sticky layer all over the motherboard, even some components have changed the color because of dirt. Well, now let's move to clean and fix the motherboard. And first carefully, I'm going to remove the CPU from the socket. From the bottom side, the CPU is a little yellowish, which means the dirt and the smoke has penetrated even under the CPU. The reason why this motherboard is not working is that a few pins from the CPU socket are damaged. Now let's take a closer look at the socket. This pin here is more curved, even a little bit damaged because the pin was pushed between the CPU and the plastic on the socket. The pin next to is a little bit curved as well, but not that much. And here at this point, one more pin is damaged, but from the current camera angle is not noticeable. Now, using needle-like tweezers, carefully I start with returning the pins to the right position. This process can be super slow, sometimes I need 10 or 15 minutes, or maybe more, to back one single pin in the right position. So if you're going to do something like this, do not rush and take your time. Curved pins on the socket do not mean that the motherboard is dead. In most cases, the pins can be put back in normal position and the motherboard will work just fine, with no problems at all. After fixing the pins, using my fingers, very carefully I cross over the socket pins, because to check are all the pins the same height. And if something is off, it's very easy noticeable. So this is an old school method, which is very efficient. Now I put back the CPU, I put some RAM for testing, I connect power supply, graphic card, and I turn on the motherboard. Also here again. I used old school ways to check the CPU temperatures. If on touch the temperature is rising too fast, something is not good, but in this case all is fine. Now let's move to clean the motherboard. First, I remove some stickers from the motherboard. I remove the heatsink from the chipset, the CMOS battery, and I done just a basic cleaning of the CPU. To clean the CPU, I used isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds and brushes. The chipset has a thermal paste that is like a rubber, but this thermal paste or thermal pad is super dry. So I need to clean the chipset before I move to anything else. To clean the chipset, I used isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds, a toothbrush and a plastic stick. Here nothing sharp or metal things are not recommended to use. Before I move to the next steps, using brush and vacuum cleaner I collect the major dust and dirt from the motherboard. Now I remove the CPU and carefully I remove the CPU bracket, I mean the metal door that is holding the CPU in the socket. Now I place a serving plate and the motherboard on the plate. And now I spray degreaser, but mixed with isopropyl alcohol, all over the motherboard. This degreaser is nothing special, 
is the same degreaser that is used to clean the kitchen or to clean some other oily parts. After I sprayed the motherboard with degreaser and isopropyl alcohol, I left the motherboard for about 10 to 15 minutes until all the dust and dirt is dissolved. Meanwhile, I start to prepare to wash the motherboard. And to wash the motherboard, I'm going to use demineralized water. Also, for electronics, you can use deionized water. Deionized water is not power conductive, or it's a very poor power conductive. On the other side, demineralized water, it's a very pure water, but it's power conductive. Also, the both waters have a very low corrosion rate compared with a normal tap water. Anyway, right after washing, the motherboard must be rewashed with isopropyl alcohol to avoid any corrosion around or below the components on the motherboard. Also, I used an outwater to cover the whole motherboard. After about 10 minutes, I pulled the motherboard from the water and I rewashed the motherboard using isopropyl alcohol. The isopropyl alcohol will push the water from around or below any components and with that I will avoid any corrosion in the future. After I washed the motherboard using isopropyl alcohol, I used hair dryer and brush to dry the motherboard. The hair dryer is a great choice because it cannot develop very high temperatures and damage some plastics, but is hot enough to dry up the motherboard from all sides around. And I'm using brush because to push and collect the surplus alcohol and speed up the drying process. The other very soft brush that I'm using is to polish the motherboard. I mean to clean any trace of stains during washing and clean even the tiniest dust. The drying process in this case took about 25 to 30 minutes. But if the motherboard is larger, the drying process may take longer. After I finished with the motherboard, I moved to clean the chipset heatsink. Very carefully, using scalper, I removed the dry thermal pad. Also, I used isopropyl alcohol to soften the remains of the pad and I used cotton buds for the rest of the cleaning. In the end, I used very fine 2000 grit sandpaper to polish the surface and make it super smooth. Now, I took all the metal parts and I placed them in a plastic container and again I sprayed all the parts using degrasser and isopropyl alcohol and later I add warm top water. And here we can see how much dirt was on these parts. Again, I used a hair dryer and brush to dry all these metal parts. I used the hair dryer and brush to avoid any marks the top water can leave. I mean like some small dry stains. Now the CPU. And the CPU is a little bit sticky as well and kind of yellowish because of dirt. To clean the CPU I used isopropyl alcohol, a toothbrush, cotton buds and soft brushes. At the end the CPU looks much better and isn't sticky anymore. The CPU heatsink, I wash it in the same way as the other metal parts. I apply degrasser with isopropyl alcohol and I add warm to hot water. And here is a very visible how much dirt is on the heatsink. The cooling fan from the CPU, I clean it using dry brushes and then I wash it using isopropyl alcohol only. And this is how the cooling fan is looking after some cleaning. Basically it's like a new one. After everything is clean, carefully I return all the parts on the motherboard. I mean I return the CPU bracket, the heatsink and the CMOS battery and the CPU. Also to the chipset, I always used some very quality thermal paste. And here is not recommended to use some cheap thermal paste.
Now again, I connect power supply, RAM, the graphic card, and anything else on the motherboard. And I start by testing the motherboard. And everything is working perfectly fine. And this is how the motherboard is looking after cleaning and washing. The motherboard looks like a new one. And most importantly, the motherboard is fully functional. And this is a little comparison from before and after. Well, and this is all about how to clean a motherboard or some electronics. I mean, you can clean all these parts without having any advanced tools, like some ultrasonic bat or something else. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will be useful and helpful if you want to fix or clean some motherboards or some other electronics. The most important thing is when you do something, even for the first time, do not rush anywhere and take your time. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.